Now, one question that pops up an awful lot on the WP Tuts Facebook group, link in the description, and also on videos that I create for ACF is, is it worth upgrading to ACF Pro? Well, the answer, as with many things in life, is a little bit complicated. But first of all, before we talk about that, let's talk about what those six fields actually are and why you may want to consider using them. First on the list, we have the repeater field. Now the repeater field allows you to do, as its name suggests, repeating fields. So if you have data you want to repeat multiple times, you can use this field. Let me give you an example. Let's say you are creating a profile page for a particular user, and part of that is you want to allow them to add in their social media networks. Now you don't want to have an entry field for every single social media account type out there. You just want to have one that they can repeat and use as many as the times as they want and put whatever information they need in there. This is a simple example of where the repeater field can be incredibly useful. Create it once, use it multiple times. Simple as that. Next on the list is ACF blocks. Now this isn't one that I use myself, but if you want to create mini templates, tie those together with ACF and PHP, and then use those in a more custom way, ACF blocks may be a great option to check out. Now, flexible content fields is probably one of the most powerful features you have as part of ACF Pro. What this allows you to do is create mini blocks of ACF meta fields. For example, let's just say for it, you wanted to create a sort of paragraph section. So you have a header, paragraph content, maybe an image. And then you also want to create a testimonial section that has the name of the actual testimonial subscriber, the actual company they work for, the testimonial itself, a thumbnail image. You kind of get the idea. You can create these little flexible blocks and then you can use the flexible content field to choose what blocks you want to insert and put those in and then fill up the relevant information. You can kind of look at this as a kind of very simplistic page builder where you create these little block templates and then you can just choose what you want and then stack as many of those as you want on top of each other. It's very powerful, probably seems a little confusing, but again, I've got a video showing you how to use this. So check that out linked down below. Next, we have options pages. So if you want to create a sort of section inside your dashboard of WordPress and allow people to put information in there that can be used anywhere through the site, this is something you could use. Again, let me give you an example. Let's use a really simple use case. You've got the opening hours, the email address, the contact address and everything for a company. You can pop those into an options page and you can reference those then in your footer, your contact page, anywhere that information could be reused, an options page could be used for it. But like I say, that's a really simple example. You could also go in and have things like the typography you want to use, the color schemes you want to use and reference that data inside your site design, depending upon what tools you use to actually work with it. But an options page can make that a reality. It's a very powerful feature that's often overlooked. The gallery field. I don't really think this needs too much explanation, but it simply has the ability to add galleries into any of the ACF powered designs very easily. Nice, simple way of doing that. Great if you've got a real estate website, a car website, or anything where you want to have multiple images associated with the product. Finally, we have the clone field. Now, the clone field allows you to do as its name suggests. You can create content and then you can simply go ahead and clone it. A real quick time saver for information inside your WordPress site using ACF. Now, that's basically the six fields that you have available as pro. Now, the question we've got to answer is, is it worth going to the pro version? And the simple answer, even though it might be a bit complicated, is it depends. It really does depend on, do you need one of these features? If you do, you're going to have to upgrade to Pro. But, and I think this is the most important thing to take away from this, is if you don't need any of those six features, the reality of it is the free version of ACF can do most things for most users. It's not some kind of crippled plugin that doesn't have access to a lot of the key features. It has probably 90% of what most people will ever need. And if you need the additional features like the repeater regions and so on, then I would say it is definitely worth looking to upgrade to the pro version. But if you don't need those, 
stick with the free version, you can do an awful lot. So don't feel like you're missing out by not paying for the pro version. You absolutely are not. You get the full version minus these six field types and maybe a couple of other little bits and pieces that in all honesty, I've never found the need to worry too much about. So if you ask the question, do I need to go to pro? Simple answer is only if you need those additional six fields or any of them. As always, all the applicable links are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tets. And until next time, take care.